Hi everyone, I'm Ishan Sharma. A ton of people ask me, Ishan, what is the best way for me to start with programming? I am not from the mathematics background or I don't particularly like maths. I haven't had the experience of Python, Java or any other language. How can I get started? Well, I redirect them to CS50. This is Harvard's online free course for computer science beginners. It is one of the best programming courses that you can take online taught by this professor called as David J. Mellon. He is one of the most enthusiastic professors that you will ever find. And in this course, you will basically learn from the basics of what is programming, what exactly is a conditional, a loop, how can you create a function of yourself, how can you build a class and an object, how can you use all of these things to build projects at the very end. So this one course is going to help you a lot in the basics of programming. Now on LinkedIn, I just came across this post by David J. Mellon, the professor, about CS50X 2023. This is the latest version that they are doing. Every single year, they have some new additions to the course. And this one is going to be absolutely amazing and worth your time. So as you can see on your screen, this is on edX. You can register it for completely free using this link right here. I'll put that in the description for you to sign up for CS50X 2023. And as you can see, what will you learn? You learn the basic concepts like abstraction, algorithms, data structures, encapsulation, resource management, security, software engineering, web development, and much, much more. Now, this course is also available on YouTube. So we can go and have a look at that as well. But I think the best part about this course is that how simple it is made for beginners, right? I love the simplicity of this course and I love how easy it is for you to understand any concept with the help of the applied learning from the professor. Like you will never feel bored. I have watched two hour lectures of this complete course. There are I think 13 to 14 uh, of these lectures and I never feel like I need to sleep or I need to do something else. I just love watching every single lecture, which I cannot say about a ton of the classes that I used to take at my particular college. So that is the course. You can register for it right now itself. 43,000 people 43 lakh people have already enrolled for this particular course. I'll just show you what you can really get from it. So this right here is CS50 introduction to programming with Python. This is called as CS50P. This is a new playlist that they've recently launched in which they teach you the very basics of programming fundamentals using Python as the language. This is very much easy for anyone to understand. So it starts with the very basics. What is a function? What are variables? It teaches you how can you use Visual Studio Code? It also talks about conditionals, loops, exceptions, debugging, libraries, style, unit tests, and so on and so forth. File I.O., regular expressions, and object-oriented programming, and other things as well. So this is a great playlist for you to get started with programming. If you are interested, you can, again, see the link in the description to get started with this particular thing. They also have a playlist for people interested in artificial intelligence. So the way this works is that if you go down over here, CS50 introduction to programming with Python, then we go down, we can also see CS50 lectures for 2020. Basically, they have new lectures every single year of CS50 and they're available to all of you on the CS50 YouTube channel for completely free. So that is how that works. They also have web programming with Python and JavaScript. This is another great playlist that you can go through if you want to learn about building websites with the help of HTML and CSS, learn a bit about Git and virtual control, then go up to learning about Python, then learn about Django, the way you can build a server with the help of Django, and then learn to build a simple database with the help of SQL querying that database, and then learn about JavaScript. How can you make it more interactive? Right? You learn about that, you learn about user interfaces, you learn about testing and CI CD, and all of these are highly interactive lectures that you go through and you learn all of the important concepts. Moving on, they also have this great playlist called as CS50 Introduction to Artificial Intelligence, which I think is another great resource for you all to check out. First of all, they teach you about search, they teach you about knowledge, uncertainty, optimization, learning, neural networks, language. So this again is a great playlist to go through. I went through it as well back in 2021, I believe, and I learned a lot about AI in a very simple 
manner now they also have one more uh, playlist called as the games track right now in this case they will teach you how to build proper games with the help of cs50 so in this case they will teach you how to make a simple pong game you'll also learn about uh, that is pretty much it oh you'll also learn to build mario with the help of this playlist as you can see right here so again very much interesting stuff if you can build a simple mario game then nothing like it you can also learn about android development with the help of cs50 itself so this right here is the track for it they teach you the basics of how can you make a very simple android application how can you interact with android studio and so on and so forth so really interesting stuff that they have over here you can also learn about ios development as you can see right here a great playlist to get started with ios and learn to use the xcode platform and build ios applications with it there's also a really interesting playlist that you can check out from stanford on ios development i leave that link in the description as well I think it's called iOS Development Stanford. If you just search for that, you should be able to get this playlist right here. It's a great playlist to start to build simple applications for iOS that you can have a look at right here as well from Stanford. Now going back, going back, this right here was the iOS track. Going down, this is essentially what you get from cs50 a great series of playlists that you can access for completely free of cost from one of the best professors david jemelin who has been in this field for i think tens of years so far teaching this introductory course to computer science to people who are beginners so go have a look at this particular course one of the best resources for anyone to get started with programming and you can also explore the other videos that they have on their youtube channel they do a ton of fairs in which they showcase what they have built after going through the cs50 curriculum now there is also a great github repository in which they have showed a ton of problem statements right so every single class comes with its own homework that you have to do in which they have a ton of questions that you can solve what you can build and that will also give you a lot of training and exercise for getting started in this field so go out there start learning with cs50 one of the best programming courses if you want to get started in 2023 as a beginner right again once you go through this you can then learn about more complex concepts like you know react js you can also learn about other important database libraries you can learn about node js later on but the basic foundation is what you will get from cs50 itself so go have a look at it i'll leave all the links in the description share this video with a friend of yours and tell me in the comment section which track will you start with first do you want to start with cs50 python ios track android track do you want to build games or do you want to focus on artificial intelligence let me know in the comment section thank you so much i will see you in the next video you can follow me on social at ishan sharma 790 i'll see you in the next one bye bye